Hi everybody, um, I'm back again with a new technique. Um, this is actually a really old technique that I had forgot about, haven't used in years, and I thought I'd revive it today. It was inspired by this new technique, Junkie Stamp, here it is, that just came out. And I was thinking, like, gosh, you know, what a pain in the butt it would be to color each one of these leaves, you know, independently to create this really colorful background. I was like, if only there was a way that I could do that very quickly without all the hassle. And instantly this idea popped back in my head. So what I did was I took the stamp and I heat embossed it onto some watercolor paper. And it is important that you use watercolor paper because we're going to add quite a bit of water and if you don't, your paper is going to warp and look pretty cray cray. Um, so this is the finished card. I just want to give you an idea of where we're going or how this will look when we're done. Let me show you how I got that. Um, I went and I took um, Tombow, and this is important. They need to be water-based markers. Your Copics, your alcohol markers will not work with this technique. Like Stampin' Up, Close to My Heart, Tombow, Marvy, any of those. And now we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're just going to scribble on some color. Now for me, I really love the reds and yellows, so I'm gonna put more red and yellow in mine than any of the other color. Um, the one I like the least is brown, although that's probably the most accurate. And red tends to overpower stuff, so. And I am just scribbling in color. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of orange over in here on this panel. Now, like I said, brown is probably the most realistic fall color. However, it is not the prettiest. So I'm trying to minimize how much brown I put in, although I do want to have some because I don't think it's fair to leave it out completely. So now we have this piece of paper that looks like a complete and hot mess. That's okay, that's what we want right now. So I went and got my silicone mat because we're gonna spray this with water and I wanted to protect my work area. This is gonna take a while to dry. Um, the first one I did took a couple hours. So this is definitely not the card you wanna make when you have only five minutes, but everything else is fast except for the drying time. I am gonna tape this down really well because I'm gonna to try to stop my panel from warping once I put water on there. You probably do not need this amount of tape. I'm being excessive, but that's okay. So I've taped this down here, and now I'm gonna start spraying with water and watch the magic happen. It is quite a bit of water, and you wanna, you wanna keep spraying until the colors move. Now I have a couple areas that are white, and I don't want that, so I'm just gonna take my paintbrush and push the color over Covering that up. There we go. I think that's all covered. So now we're going to set this aside and let it dry. And like I said, it takes a few hours. I'll be back to show you what it looks like when it's dry. All right, it's a day later and I created four of those backgrounds and I had to let them dry overnight or I did let them dry overnight. And look at how different they all are. So they're really, really cool. Now there's areas of these I don't like, like right in here, but I'm gonna trim my panels down. So I'm gonna get um, a lots of, there's a lot of brown right in here, but I'm gonna trim this down. It's gonna work out great. Now that I have these all cut down, I think they look better. I love to know what you think. So do they look better, more balanced, more, I don't know, just more complete than just kind of these like watercolor backgrounds. I think watercolor backgrounds when they're not cut and they look kind of rugged look beat up. So the next thing I'm going to do is take some brown ink. I'm using Espresso by Altenew. Any brown ink works. And I'm just going to sponge a little bit of brown on the edges of my die cut leaves. And I chose to die cut these on a really light brown so that I could add some depth in with my ink blending. 
now that we have our backgrounds the next part's assembly and this i mean this card is really that simple it, the hardest part was making the background dry and honestly it was waiting for the background to dry we remember we just scribbled on these and sprayed them with water and they did their own thing so the hardest part was just waiting for them to dry and the rest of this is assembly and this is a really easy card to assemble so if you do like to mass produce cards, this is a good one. I really love these colors and how they turned out. Now these I cut a little bit longer than I think I wanted them and I can trim the rest off the edge. But this gives me a little more freedom to play with my, my little sentiment strip here or whatever you want to call this. So I'm going to trim that off. And then I'm going to glue one of my leaves on. On my original, I had it facing this way. Let's see, that might be even slide it over. But I think I'm going to try doing tilting the leaf the other way. What do you guys think? Here's my original. This or that. I definitely use more of my sentiment base this time. I don't know. I'm going to glue it down and you guys can tell me in the comments this or that. Which one did you like better? I try to make every card a little different. Change up something so that they're all unique. Um, another tip I can share is that for this card because this is a little of a bit of a busy background and I really wanted this sentiment to stand out I did die cut three hellos two out of brown cardstock and one out of foil to help that pop off the card a little bit more I normally or try to, I don't normally do that I just think um, for most people they don't take the time to admire the amount of work it takes to die cut it all those times but in this case I felt it really needed it kind of got a little lost okay they're all done they're all basically the same layout and but they're they're each a little different I tilted the leaves different obviously the watercolor is different I'd love to know if you have any comments of things you like or didn't like this one I used I ran out of this paper so I tried this paper I definitely like that paper better but let me know what you think and I hope you try this I hope you have fun with it and thanks for joining me on my crafty adventure and I'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.